Before you can add the final touches to your portrait, you will need to eliminate any vestige of the old background. Some people prefer to perform this task before copying and pasting the subject onto the background, while others may prefer to see how the edges blend with the digital backgrounds. There is no right or wrong way, it's just what works best for you. First we will need to select our tool from the Tools palette. We will be using the Eraser tool again. The diameter should be set very small, from 1 to 10 pixels. Hardness should be set at a low percentage to soften edges. Use the navigator to zoom in on the subject. If you do not see the navigator palette, go to Window, Navigator, to make the palette appear. Depending on the stability of your hand, you will need to zoom in at 100 to 200 percent. First make sure that the appropriate layer is selected in the Layers palette. Click and hold on the little red box in the Navigator palette and drag it to the edge of your subject. Now begin erasing the remaining portions of the old background. This is by far the most time consuming portion of the entire process. Time spent doing this can be significantly diminished by using a sheet or blank wall when photographing your subject. You will need to periodically erase the larger portions by changing to a larger diameter brush size. You will need to do this around the entire perimeter of the subject where the old background is still visible. When you have finished erasing the last portion of your background, zoom out to check your work. By now your portrait should be starting to look more natural. There is only one more necessary step to completion which is blending your subject with the new digital background.